This is the DJI Pocket 2 and this is the brand new DJI Pocket 3. In today's video, we're just going to be doing a simple roundabout and be able to compare the footages coming out from these two cameras. Is the newer upgrade going to be worth it? Have a look at the footage and decide for yourself. Behind me is the famous Marina Bay Sands. We'll be walking from the start all the way to the end. And as you can see, it's actually turning dark, which is the perfect circumstances for comparison to be able to see their low light effects. Their low light footages. Okay, needless to say, I have the two wireless microphones here. So since we're out, let's also test them. All right, there are pretty much quite a lot of noise around here, which is actually a good uh, situation to be able to test the mics. So here's the audio that's coming out from my DJI Pocket 2. And here's the audio that's coming out from my DJI Pocket 3's new microphone. Here they are side by side with both of their wind muffs on. Okay, so just in case you're curious, we are at this Tilix bridge that actually connects uh, the Malayan Park, which is over this side. At the back here, over to Gardens by the Bay, uh, sorry, Marina Bay Sands, which we are walking to. I actually set up the DJI Pocket 2 to have the build law handle so that it's on the same level as the DJI Pocket 3. So as you can see, once I have the handle over here, it's pretty much the even uh, height, which is what we want. Let's not forget the wide-angle lens. Starting with the DJI Pocket 2, this is the wide-angle lens, so here we go. Here is for the DJI Pocket 3. Okay, it's much wider, right? Okay, I'm doing a little bit of multitasking here. <laughs> so this is with the wide-angle lenses attached.
in case you guys have already, haven't already noticed, we are actually shooting in 4K. Now, you can see outside here is probably closer towards the night already. It's about 7, 18. And behind me is the skyline. And for all those Apple fans, this is the Apple store. Looks very different than during the day. Okay, now let's test the zooming in. For both of these cameras. So let me know down in the comments below if there's a very huge drop in quality in your opinion. Both are actually at this maximum two times zoom. Okay, throughout the last few minutes, I've been using my wide angle lens, so let's remove them. Removing starting from the pocket 3 and then the pocket 2. So, I hope you guys like this quick comparison between these two cameras. Okay, let me know down in the comments below what other thing you want me to test out. Of course, there are more content to come. Let's end off this video with a time lapse of the Apple Store.